All right. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I feel like I should have done a get to know me video a very long time ago, but that's exactly what this video is going to be on today. So let's not waste any more time and get right into it. Okay, so question number one is what is my name and the name of my YouTube channel? So if you don't know me, my name is Zulema. I 99.999% of the time go by Zuli, which is my nickname. I've gone with that name for my entire life. You can call me Zulema, although it might sound weird to my ears. Um, obviously, I will respond. It is my name and I love my name, but I'm just so used to going by Zuli. But the name of my YouTube channel, if you haven't noticed, is obviously Zulema 2.0. I chose Zulema 2.0 for all of my social media platforms because I have been trying to become a better version of myself. So for me to just put Zulema, I don't know whatever whatever I put Zulema 2.0 because in my mind that was a better version of myself if you think of like iPhones and you get the new software update it's always like a number ahead like I don't know 10.0 what are we on now I have no idea but it's always a better version so that's why I chose Zulema 2.0 and if you look on my banner it says living a conscious life because I just want to bring awareness to topics that I'm extremely passionate about like toxic free beauty and ethical shopping veganism fitness i really want this to be a lifestyle brand and i just want to share i want to share as much information as i possibly can for you guys next question is who inspired me to start a youtube channel and i would say probably um friends people on social media sending me messages my sister, mainly my sister, she constantly gives me advice. Um, my boyfriend really pushed me to do it. And myself, because I feel like it's a way for me to just share and inspire. And I feel like if I don't, I feel like I'm doing like a disservice, I guess you can say. So wherever it takes me, as long as I can share a little bit of information, that is my ultimate goal. So moving on to the next question, which is three things you should know about me. So I was born in Middletown, New York. That is about roughly an hour and 15 to 20 minutes outside of New York City, going north. Um, I was vegetarian for seven years before becoming vegan. I've only been vegan for a year now. Um, actually, this month marks one year. And three, I am Puerto Rican. And I know you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, another New Rican who claims to be Puerto Rican but doesn't speak Spanish. But I'm here to tell you that this New Rican habla, entiende y escribe en español. That is very much a Puerto Rican accent. <laughs> yeah, we don't pronounce S's, so don't judge okay so the next question is when did I become vegan and I realized that I actually already answered this question I became vegan one year ago this month it is April um, last thing that I ate before I became vegan was a cheesy pizza which leads to the next question is why did I become vegan and as I said before I was vegetarian for seven years and the main reason why I became vegetarian was because of the animal cruelty and all the things that they inject into animals. I just didn't find it pleasurable for me to bite into a piece of animal flesh and find it like satisfying. It just didn't sit right with me anymore. I just, I felt bad and I still feel bad, which leads me into why I became vegan because I feel even more passionate about um, animal cruelty. I don't believe there is any humane way of killing an animal. I don't buy the arguments of, you know, the animal lived a long healthy life, it was grass fed. No one deserves to die like that. I'm sure you wouldn't like for somebody to walk up to you and just be like, hey, you've been fed organic plants your entire life, you lived a long healthy life, so I'm just gonna put a gun to your head and kill you because you live a long, healthy life and someone needs to eat when we really don't need it. We do not need animals. We don't need to eat animals, plain and simple. Most of the animals that 
us humans consume are all herbivores. If you don't know what that means, they eat plants. So the nutrients and the proteins that you're absorbing from the animal actually comes from the plants. So why not skip that and go straight to the plants? It, it just makes total sense. And now the animal doesn't have to go through that cruelty process. They can live the actual long, healthy life they decide to live, not what we decide they need to live. You know what I mean? And also the health part of it, the high cholesterol, the cancers, the diabetes, it's all been shown to be linked to the consumption of meat and animal products. So, I mean, like I said in my last video, we all want to live a long, happy and healthy life, right? Um, I'm sure there's the argument of everything in moderation, but everything in moderation eventually adds up and you never know where life is going to take you. So why not take the cautious steps of eliminating certain things that we actually do not need in our bodies? All right, so next question is, what's your own unique form of animal rights activism? So for me is sharing vegan food and different variations and different options that we have. Um, I love to share it because a lot of people just get the idea that being vegan is not fun and it's so hard and it doesn't taste like anything. So I just like to share what I make because it's not hard and it's so freaking good. I mean, I don't wanna brag, but almost everything that I make is bomb. Like, bomb, ba bomb. It's so good. So that's how I share it and hopefully people can see that and just cut down on um, eating animal and animal products and things that come from animals yeah next question is do i let things slide from time to time and this is referring to veganism um no i don't i sometimes hate being that person but i if something has egg or milk or something in the ingredients list of a product i will not eat it if I feel a little bit skeptical of how the food was made, how it was fried, because a lot of people use egg in their batter when they fry certain things like cauliflower and broccoli and things like that. If I, in my mind, feel a little bit skeptical about it, I'll ask or I just simply just won't eat it. No, thank you. So I, no, just to answer that question, no, I do not let things slide. If things get past me, like that I didn't know, mistakes happen and um, we're all not perfect. I don't remember, oh yes, Chipotle. So as we know, Chipotle has the sofritas, which is tofu and I totally recommend it because it's super, super good. Um, so for a while they didn't have a lid on their tofu. So sometimes like the steak would get inside of it and um, it actually happened to me and it happened to my sister where we were eating and luckily for me, I never actually put it in my mouth. I actually saw it because I don't know, I can detect these things when something's a little bit off. I'm like, eh, so I start digging and digging and digging and I found it. So I took that whole entire scoop out and I just, ah, oh, it made me so mad. But now they put a lid on it. But the next issue is their guacamole is right next to their cheese and i if you haven't noticed i love avocados and the cheese gets into the avocado and there's no lid on top of it and sometimes i can see it and i just don't get it because of that and it makes me so mad next okay um what is your favorite specialty vegan item so I really like Follow Your Heart because I like mayo. Um, I like Earth Balance because they have really good butters and Gardein because it's the best tasting meat replacement that they have out at the moment. Um, 
What else? What else? Ooh, um, what is it? Field roast sausages. Mm. If you haven't seen my last video, I have a shot of me grocery shopping and you can see what I'm talking about. So you kind of have a visual of when you're going into a grocery store, what it actually looks like. Oh my God. So yummy. Okay, so best vegan meal I have ever had. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. It has to be like all, all the best vegan experiences that I've had have all been in LA. So if you're in LA and you haven't tried Crossroads, Little Pine, Gracias Madre, oh, Donut Friend, just, oh my God, the list goes on. But those are like the main places and oh, everything is so good. Oh my God, the nachos from Gracias Madre, the best nachos I've probably ever had. Just go, just go. And finally, the last question is, how do I deal with people who are, ooh, $3, oh my God, $5. How do I deal with people who are closed-minded about my lifestyle? Ooh. Um, so you can kind of tell when people are curious and when I get those curious people, I don't mind sharing, but I try to keep it as minimal as possible unless they keep asking questions. They keep asking questions that it's go time. We're going to be talking for a very long time about it. But there's people who I can tell, like, they'll just be like, oh, you don't know what you're missing out or you got to eat meat, that's why you're cold, blah, blah, blah. Like, I can already tell those people are very close-minded, so I don't even bother to share anything about veganism because I just don't want to argue about it. Like, you're close-minded, um, you're unaware, you're uneducated, so I'm not going to sit there and argue about it. You know what I mean? I feel like it's a waste if you truly, like, really, really care, then you would ask. But if you're being like mean about it, then I'm not gonna bother. All right guys, so that concludes this little get to know me session. I hope that you guys got a little insight of who I am. If you have any more questions about anything really, just leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and of course share the video. That would mean everything to me. Um, so yeah, till next time, bye.